Hey guys, and welcome to the fourth episode of the Python Challenge series. And this time I'm going to be trying something a little different. I'll just be making it a little simpler for me to edit. Because for the previous videos, I've been recording the coding part and my voice separately. Now I'm going to be trying to do them at the same time. And I hope the keyboard sounds aren't too distracting. So now I've resorted to using a really old keyboard that I borrowed from a friend. Uh, instead of using my main keyboard, which is very, very loud, you can hear this. So now I won't be using that. But let's get into the video. So we start off with the website we previously were left off, which is linkedlist.php. We see that there's an image of some sort. And OK, right ahead, I can see that hovering over the image, I can click on it. And I see the next nothing is 44827. And looking at the URL, I see nothing equals 12345. So I guess I'll copy this one and put it here and see where that takes me. And next nothing is 45439. OK, that's going to go for a long time, I assume. So let's go here and see the page source. And URL library may help. Don't try all nothing since it will never end. 400 times is more than enough. OK, so we should that's our hint right there. We should not do this more than 400 times. Otherwise, we'll be going in an infinite loop. So what we need to do is we need to make a script that will keep changing the URL to the next nothing. We can do that using the browser from Webbot. And we can also figure out the next nothing using regular expression. So what I'll do is from Webbot, I'll import the browser. And then I will also import regular expression. So now we want to create our object that actually searches the browser. So let's create an object called web. And we'll make that based on the browser. We just brought from Webbot. Now we have that. So now I'll go back to the image and see our nothing origin starts at one, two, three, four, five. So let's put that there. Number equals one, two, three, four, five. And our link, which I'm going to just be using as a temporary placeholder, our link will be this one. Because this will be staying static and this number will be changing. So what I want to do with our Webbot, I'm going to actually go to the link. So I'll do web, which is our browser object. We'll web go to and we'll give it a link. And what we can do is we can do link and we can put there plus num because that's what the link will be. And it's already a string, so I don't have to convert it to a string object. And now here's where regular expression comes in handy. What we want to do is use regex to find the pattern that matches this here. So we'll find something and the next nothing is and then we'll find the number. So what we do is pattern equals we want to use re compile. And we want to copy that message there. And the next nothing is, it's going to be a decimal, so we'll put that inside parentheses. And we'll use that using the escape D and plus. So we'll be able to find out a decimal that's any length, because I'm assuming that can change. And now we want to create a loop just to keep going on forever and ever until we don't find something that matches anymore, which I'm assuming at the very end there'll be something different, because otherwise it will keep going forever. So let's just do while. True. And I know this is a really shitty thing to do when you're programming, but I'll do it. Come at me, haters. So now I'll get the page source. Uh, temp equals web dot, and we'll use get underscore page underscore source. And that is how we get the page source. So now we want to get our next number, and we can use that using the regex search option. So we'll do match equals pattern dot search, and we'll give it the temp which will be our page source. So this will search through temp and get the same pattern that matches our regex object thing and will return the number, which will be inside, which will be this D. So this match is kind of going to be a, like a, it's going to be a list type of thing or a tuple. And the first element of this match object will be the whole sentence that we are getting. And the second one will be our just our number. So what we'll do is we'll get our new number equals match dot group one and that will be the second object and that will return just the number and we'll just create a test if match equals none then we know that nothing happened and we'll break it so if there's no match we'll break it we won't keep going otherwise it will go forever and ever and ever and my computer will not like me so now we can do this again by going using our web dot go to and we'll do link plus new not the old number we want to do the new number and this should work. So if you want to do Python level four dot py and see what happens. Okay, something broke very, very much. Okay, I can see from here that I messed up. 
two ways. Let me fix that. And let me try that again. Okay, I also messed up again. I forgot the equal mark in the link. Equals is important. Everything's fixed, so now we should be able to open up our web bot properly and it will keep going forever and ever and ever. We should see that happen very soon. Now it's doing it. We can actually see what's happening and I'll let it go for a little while. Okay, now we've come back to a problem. Uh, it says yes, divide by two and keep going. We have this number here, 16044. And we wanna divide that by two and we can restart our script, but just on a number divided by two. So let's comment that out. I'll create this new number by dividing this by two. But this will return an integer, so I will need to convert it to a string first. And that should be fine, and I'll let it let it run. I'm gonna keep it running until we find another one that causes problems. Okay, now we've come back to something that breaks the program, and this is in a good way because this is our answer. So we see from here that our answer will be peak.html, and that's what we'll go to. We will go define.peak.html, and that will be level number five. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next one.